Hey guys, <clears throat> it is Monday, October 26th at 6 p.m. Uh, and I haven't done a video in a really long time. Uh, my video camera was actually broke and I just recently was able to replace it. So hopefully I'll be able to do some, some more videos. Um, so much has happened in the last, I don't know, three or four months, probably closer to five months since I really have been posting videos. Um, I'm not going to be able to obviously make one 10 minute video that talks about all those things, but there's definitely some epiphanies and experiences and um, developments and, uh, you know, um, just some things that, that I would like to talk about and process and put out there and, and as always, um, kind of have like an online conversation with. Um, but for this video specifically, I'm going to try to talk about um, on Friday the 23rd, it was a year and a half on testosterone, so I just kind of wanted to do a video to mark that. Um, as far as physical changes, I'm at a place, I think, where I no longer notice the physical changes. Um, they either aren't happening or they're happening so slowly and gradual that it just becomes to be and I don't really notice um, how or when that happens. Um, I, um, as far as physical, I mean, I feel stronger. I think my body shape is um, much more masculine than it has ever been, obviously, in my life. Um, I'm also heavier than I've been in a really long time, and um, I hate that, and uh, it feels like it's harder for some reason to get that weight off now, but maybe that's because I'm 33, um, and the older you get, the harder it gets. Um, I I think that, um, well, I don't think I know that um, I am red and I present as male 100% of the time. I don't think that's ever in question. Um, I don't question it, and I don't even consider the option that someone else would question it. Um, mm, I'm still at 100 milligrams every week. I haven't had my testosterone levels done in ages. Um, I get insurance with my job starting November 1st, so that's one of the first things on my list of things that I want to go get done is get my testosterone levels checked. Um, and, you know, like the classic, see where my cholesterol and my, you know, liver function and all that kind of fun stuff is. Um, Let's see, what else? Um, I'm working full time um, at a job that will I will describe in more detail in another video, but um, I'm not really out at work um, because I'm a probationary employee until my six month mark. And it's not until that mark, that six months, will I'm am I covered by the union. Um, and the union explicitly says that um, trans identity, transgender status is protected under um, under the union, so I just have to wait until <clears throat> um, January 1st, I believe, or sometime around that time is my six month mark, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna come out. I'm out to my coworker and a couple of the caseworkers, and it's it's not a big deal. Um, so it's been an interesting sort of shift for me to leave California, to leave Chico, and be as out as I was, and come up here, and um, to not be as out as I as I used to be, or or I'm used to, um, and I feel like I've struggled a lot in that. Um, I, I don't like being stealth. I don't like having a whole life and a whole history that is secret or can't be talked about. Um, I don't have enough years um, as a man under my belt to be able to pull that off very successfully. So I feel like I'm rather awkward in most social situations or I'm um, interacting with people because um, I don't, you know, it's like I just came to be like a year and a half ago, came to exist a year and a half ago and, and um, at 33 years old, that's just that's just not enough time to actually have um, interactions and connections with with people. So I'm looking forward to that being different um, with some of my coworkers. Um, things with my family are, are good. My parents and my grandparents. Um, Christine actually going home for Thanksgiving to spend it with my parents and grandparents. Um, as far as the rest of my family, I haven't seen them since uh, April 2008. Um, so yeah, so. That's kind of a bummer. Um, I think that I've finally arrived at a place of just accepting it, and it, it is what it is. So, um, Christy and I are doing amazingly well. Uh, starting to tackle the idea of planning our wedding, which I don't know how that's going to happen because we're both super broke. But um, yeah, so I think that, that that's it for right now. I'm going to start writing things down again so I can come home and document them and make YouTube videos and reconnect. Um, I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers, my new subscribers, which I think it's interesting. I haven't posted a video, but I've gotten a handful of new subscriptions. Um, 
And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. All right, later.